Hey guys, what's going on? It got pretty cold out uh, for the last week, hasn't it? Uh, winter it definitely is coming. <laughs> In some parts of uh, England is already here anyway. Uh, that's why we're drinking Guinness. Cheers, everybody. Mmm, that's better. Anyway, back to the business, and the business is right here. Not right there, on the floor. <laughs> uh, I just got back from a little adventure. And let me tell you how I got there. That was completely unplanned. But I thought I'd take you on a, on a journey with me and, uh, and uh, show you what I got. Righty, so um, over the last couple of days, I've decided I um, need to upgrade my toolbox in the garage to a slightly taller, like a rolling cab and maybe uh, five or seven drawers. I don't know, something, something like this. I'm still on the hunt for one, so if you got something, let me know. Uh, so I've been searching high and low for uh, best deals around and I went on eBay as well and by searching toolbox this thing came up and I'll show you in a minute what that is you know it's a it is a toolbox it's not a toolbox I was looking for but I kind of got my attention because it says in the description he has some uh, old school carpentry saws uh, inside um, it wasn't a great description it wasn't a great pictures it was just you know blurry a bit dark you know but I was around the corner so I decided I'm gonna go and have a look at it and of course I got there and it was dark <laughs> because I got there in the evening and I was in the barn so put some torch on the phone and the guy did the same thing kind of looked inside and I said you know what by the bullet let's have it see what happens he says a few saws in there and some other tools so I uh, brought it back here I paid uh, some money for it. I brought it back here. I thought, you know what? Uh, let's have a look together what's inside, because uh, I've seen some tools and I've seen some saws in there, but you never know what's, uh, what treasures are inside. I know the thing is really old, and I'm a fan of old school tools. Uh, they're not necessarily probably motorcycle related or metalworking tools, and it's most likely carpenter, uh, carpentry tools. Uh, but you know what? Good tools, good quality tools, old school. Why not? Let's have a look. So there we go, there it is, um, that little toolbox, carpentry kind of toolbox I've been talking about, as you can see it's, uh, it's rather an old item, but it's solid, i tell you what, the box alone is solid, uh, and what drove my attention as I said before is the uh, carpentry old school saws. Um, you know I paint saws, you know, and they are very popular and, and I love painting saws because it's such a large surface and it's not just a regular panel, you know, not just a piece of wood, not just a piece of metal, it's actual saw and they, um, as you see in my online shop, they sell pretty well as a tattoo remover gifts, you know, for Father's Day or just regular pinstriping, you know, uh, low rider saws kind of thing. So I love, I love painting this and I know, you know what, I ran out, I thought, why not just get a couple more and this came over. It's not a kind of toolbox I was looking for, but pff, on the heat of the moment, I decided to buy it. So uh, it's the first time I'm actually opening this toolbox in my garage in a kind of regular light. So uh, let's see what's inside. Well, that's nice. The saws are mounted over here. And they're pretty good quality as well. So that's two already. Yeah, so we've got a couple of cells mounted on the lid and some storage over here. As you can see, it's pretty much filled up with some stuff. There's another saw over here, really big. Really big, really nice quality blade. Uh, but that doesn't matter because it will be painted, it won't be used as a saw anymore. I'll give it a new life. Uh, so that's a good score. Let's have a look inside. <coughs> right. Now that's pretty cool. <laughs> that's like a little precision um, tenon saw. It's not even a tenon saw, but it's like a tiny uh, surgical, near enough medical saw. <laughs> Rock and roll. Plenty of different files and chisels and woodworking equipment and tools. Lots of different, look at that. Handheld kind of uh, drill starter kind of bit not even quite sure what these tools are called i'll be honest with you i'm not sure at all a couple of punchers nothing fancy 
tiny little one. Look at this bad boy. I mean, I like I like stuff like this. This is I don't know how old that is, but uh, uh, I reckon that's gonna be from 1950s, maybe 60s. I really don't know. It would be a shame to throw this away. Definitely not gonna throw it away. That's for sure. Knife, couple of allen keys, couple of drill bits, another punch. Oh wow, these are cool. Uh, set of little spanners, I think. Yeah, you can divide them. I'm guessing they for some kind of uh, your numbered one, two, three, all the way to nine. I'm guessing they um, so for some kind of machinery, for some kind of specific tools, specific specific machine, different sets from small to large. Well, that's pretty cute actually. I can turn into a keyring right now. <laughs> really nice, I like that. What's here? Oh wow, that's like a compass, and it's old school compass, and it looks like it's made of brass, I think. I may be wrong, but it looks like it's made of brass, and that's really old school instrument quality as well. There's no wobble in it, same as this one. Same thing, it's either brass or it's brass plated, but it's really solid, you know. And it's, I'm keeping that, that's for sure. That's a score, that is. Couple of other things bits and bobs, some random stuff. Some of it will be thrown away, but a piece like this definitely will not be thrown away because is that a um, handheld, probably handle is missing for counter sinking this, the screw holes? Is that what it is? Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm not quite sure. I'm guessing looking at the, uh, at the tip, it's probably to counter sink in the uh, wooden screw so the screw head can uh, hide in a piece of wood. I don't know. Let's carry on. Right, another piece. What do you got here? A little tin. Some blades inside, not important. A sterling set of mathematical drawing instruments made in England. Well, I'm guessing that's where the uh, compass came from. Oh, it's nice. It's a piece of paper. There's obviously a set of drawing instruments. And some kind of treasure map. Let's have a look. Oh, that's really old school. Let's have a look at this. Phone number 46 from Joe C. Sargent Limited, St. Andrew Oaks, Bracknell. 1956. There is a date, there's a proof where uh, where this box is most likely from. Well, I don't know if that's a uh, whole box is from 1956, but this piece of paper is a piece of history right here. 1 times 8 by 4 inch sheet hardboard, 1 pound, look at that, epic, I'm keeping it here, there's some names in a box as well, scratched out, Roy, John, Tony, John, Brian, Martin, Malk, Bernard, Bob, Philip, Paul and David, well guys, Cheers, probably schoolmates, you know, sign that up. I'm keeping this, that's for sure. I'm not a hoarder, I just like shit like this for some reason. Another old school book, 88 pages. But there's nothing in it. This one's empty. <coughs> and set of old school, rather good quality. Of, well, they were good quality anyway. Chisels and some uh, other carpentry instruments. Um, they probably don't have much use to me, but looking at it, they are really nice tools. Uh, well, they were anyway back in the day. I'm guessing they could still, they definitely they work as good as these days right now, you know, if anybody knows what they're doing with carpentry tools like this. And there's plenty of them over here. So, yeah. This one looks like it's been used not uh, long ago, actually, because it's still shiny on the top. Or oh, it's been sharpened. I like it. That will come handy at some point. Carry on looking for some 
a gold gold mine. Right. I don't know what these are. I'm sure some of you guys can tell me. Please comment below. Uh, what is this and what is what was used for? Um, I'm guessing it's uh, some sort of chisel kind of thing, but I'm not quite sure what was the purpose of this. And there's a couple of them like this over here, different sizes and different shape. It's obviously just a regular chisel, but these these bad boys, I'm not quite sure what they were used for. Um, really don't know. They're not exactly super sharp in the end, but they are uh, a bit of an awkward shape. Let me know, guys. I'm, I'm sure many of you know what they what they are, what they what, what they called, and what they're useful. Please drop me a comment below. We'll uh, see what we can put them to a good use at some point. What else we got in here? A little saw. I broke one of those not long ago, so that will that will stay in my reservoir definitely. Ah, that's nice. A little um, semi orthopedic uh, steel ruler, just a regular modern item, and it's got some um, drill bit sizes as well, metric and inches, I guess. Uh, good, good quality item, good to have in every garage, you know. Brilliant. I got some more saw blades over here, some more chisels. I'm not quite sure what that is. This we I'm um, guessing what that is, just to measure up, to cut your. Uh, uh, what else we got in here? Wooden blocks. Now this piece, I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm sure some of you can tell me. It's probably measure some kind of depth, maybe, or I really don't know. Don't want to be guessing because uh, I ain't got a clue. Maybe it's a part of something. Let me know again if you know what that is. Item number two. <laughs> Rock and roll. What else we got in here? And more handheld instruments. Uh, this bad boy, not quite sure, looks like a adjustable kind of... It is working, it doesn't adjust very well, but it is working. And again, not quite sure what that was used for. So I'm gonna drink some beer in the meantime, cheers. Right, carry on, Serge, from my, from my toolbox. There we go. That's the main purpose of the exercise. So, so how many saws have I got? The guy I bought it from didn't know how many. There was, he said there was a bunch of saws and that was the main reason I bought this uh, toolbox. Obviously toolbox and all the items around it is a bonus. I bought a saws and everything else came with it so I said why not, let's take it. So you got one, two in the lid, you got one on the floor so it's number four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, that's a big one. Ten, beautiful. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen, look at this one, Spears and Jackson, beautiful. Thirteen, nice. Fourteen, that's a big boy. Fifteen, Silver Dragon. Sixteen. 17 <coughs> 18 souls in total now that is a good buy 18 souls like this that is that is a good buy that's gonna keep me going for the whole winter and you're gonna see a bunch of these souls in my little online shop i promise you that i get you a little closer so what have we got that looks to me like it's a radiator brush and here it is harry's radiator brush <laughs> epic bunch of handheld drills uh, again very solid items probably quite quality there's another one over here and there's a tiny one over here like this very smooth action I like them I never I never had one obviously play with it but I never owned one well there you go my first one handheld drill kind of thing it's good for marking up stuff Definitely gonna keep this. Another drill, handheld kind of drill like that. Epic. And a mini crowbar. <laughs> you gotta love crowbar. I fucking love crowbars. 
Yeah, crowd control. That will come real handy. I'm keeping this bad boy. Rubber mallet. <coughs> Again, pretty solid. Epic. One better screwdriver, some bits and bobs, and just a lot of dust on the very bottom. Some old school string, pieces of string, and one big ass uh, drill bit. Looks very much uh, unused. It's a little bit rusty here and there, but it looks very much unused. It's gonna be sharp as fuck, which is good because I was looking for a good big one. <laughs> Rock and roll. <coughs> that's about it from the main things over here. I reckon that is a pretty good buy, all in all. This little chisel hole heading over there as well. That will come handy as well. I know exactly what I'm gonna do with that. And a bunch of handles, old school handles, nice. Rock and roll, let's put it all back together. Right, so all in all, I'm very happy with what I got today. Um, obviously, was it 16, 17, 18 saws? That's pretty, uh, pretty good going. Where are you guys? <laughs> That's pretty good going. And, um, and all the other items, little bonus items, uh, I'm, I like old school tools, you know, there's a piece of history over there and that little booklet is from 1950, was it 2 or 59? I think it was 52. Um, so yeah, that goes back to um, early 50s I think uh, and fuck knows whether that was any, you know, who was using that and, and, and there's lots of history in that, I'm gonna uh, take good care of this. Sometimes it's worth to take a gamble, you know, and just buy something like that. Especially that was just around the corner from uh, where I live, so uh, why not? I wasn't looking for it, it just came across, and why not? I uh, went ahead and, and bought it. And obviously, on top of it, it's it's the box itself, which is a really steady box. Uh, it's got handles, and it's really solid, even though it's really old and I'm thinking I'm gonna restore this box a little bit I'm not gonna go crazy on it I'm not gonna go like full blast and repaint it but I think I'll clean it up a little bit put some sandpaper to it got rid of all those uh, white marks because I'm guessing that's relatively new paint it was originally painted green or then brown I think not quite sure I'm gonna clean it up just a bit I'm gonna put some oils on it maybe lacquer it a bit just to breathe some fresh light to it repair a couple of items is like uh, split edges and clean up the boxes inside as well put a couple of fresh nails to it just to make it like this piece over here that's that's moving other than that is really solid uh, a little restoration project coming later on maybe and i think i'm gonna keep this box myself because it's a really nice piece of equipment and a piece of history as well it will come handy for either storage or keeping my pinstriping shade in it or maybe my airbrushing equipment or just general uh, General coffee table, I'm not, I don't know, <laughs> I'm just thinking out loud. Beer, beer table, that's what I'm thinking, not coffee, I don't drink coffee, I drink beer. <laughs> that's it guys, thank you for uh, having a look with me, what's in the box, first time ever. And uh, until next time, uh, have a beer, rock hard. Mm. And I'll see you very soon, thanks.